क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटीन एक्साइज सेवन पॉइंट टू चैप्टर सेवन इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी हैव टू इंटीग्रेट ई टू दी पावर ऑफ टू एक्स प्लस थ्री सो इट इज अ वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन एंड ऑल वी हैव टू डू इज वी हैव टू सब्सिट्यूट टू एक्स प्लस थ्री इज इक्वल टू टी ऑन डिफ्रेंशिएटिंग बोथ साइड विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स आई एम गोइंग टू गेट टू इज इक्वल टू डी टी अपॉन डी एक्स और टू डी एक्स इज इक्वल टू डी डी ओके हेयर सी हेयर थ्री इज अ कॉन्स्टेंट सो डिफ्रेंशिएशन ऑफ थ्री वुड बी इक्वल टू जीरो एंड फॉर एक्स डी अपॉन डी एफ डी एक्स ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू वन ओके सो फॉर इंस्टेड ऑफ डी एक्स आई एम गोइंग टू प्लेस डी टी अपॉन टू ओके दिस टू इज गोइंग टू क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई सो आई एम गोइंग टू गेट दिस एज डी टी अपॉन टू फॉर टू एक्स प्लस थ्री आई एम गोइंग टू प्लेस ई टू दी पावर ऑफ टी सो आई एम गोइंग टू गेट दिस एज वन बाई टू e to the power of 2x plus 3 plus c so which would be my required answer because integration of e to the power of x is equal to e to the power of x plus c so this formula we have applied so this is my final answer now we can also solve this problem by an alternative method okay now this method is quite convenient method and it is a quite reliable method and it is going to be used in long term okay so it is like this that we know that integration of e to the power of x is equal to e to the power of x plus c okay then integration of ax e to the power of ax plus b is equal to 1 upon a e to the power of ax plus b plus c so this means that if x is replaced by ax plus b that is we take x and in x we are going to multiply any number and we can add a constant b also okay so the difference in both of them would be just the expression ax plus b so this is obtained by multiplying x a number a and adding to it a number b so this would be equal to 1 upon a e to the power of ax plus b plus c that is we are going to proceed the integral as integration as we integrate e to the power of x so e to the power of ax e, e to the power of ax plus b would be same as e to the power of ax plus b but because x has a coefficient as a so we are going to divide it by a also so this is how we can integrate e to the power of ax plus b okay and this method is quite helpful in any case that suppose that we have to integrate cos of ax plus b okay so we know that integration of cos x is equal to sin x okay therefore integration of cos of ax plus b would be equal to minus sin of ax plus b and because the coefficient sorry this would be equal to plus sin of ax plus b and because the coefficient of x is a so i'm going to get 1 upon a sin of ax plus b plus c and this is how i'm going to integrate cos of ax plus b so i hope the the logic here is quite clear now the question is that we have to integrate e to the power of 2x plus 3 okay so by the method which we have discussed so this would be equal to e to the power of 2x plus 3 and because x has a coefficient 2 so 1 upon 2 will be written like this would be multiplying that is 2 is going to divide the integral so i have written 1 upon 2 plus c and this would be my required answer so this method is quite a convenient method and it would be very helpful when we are going to perform the problems which are going to become more and more more and more difficult as as we are going to proceed so this method would be very helpful to us okay